guys, Paul here. I am going to show you, and you need to do this as soon as you sign up for Zoho for the free version, how to edit fields on the edit screen. So when you come to edit any field where you want to put in information, if you're not happy with, with what's there, then you need to do it as soon as possible on that free trial. Because once it goes pro, you can't change anything without paying. So all you're going to do is go, go to the tools and set up. Then you're going to go modules, and then that was contacts. So it might be accounts, deals, leads. The beauty of Zoho is you can um, change and edit anything, right, to a degree. So there may be, this is the, con, this is the in, input form. It goes tab, 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 right? So it goes, so you can't, you can move this underneath there, but when you're tabbing around, it jumps from this tab to that tab. So don't put them all below each other thinking they're in order because it's it's it goes like this, right? So if you want to get rid of something here, so say I don't want, um, I don't know, date of birth is not interesting to me. You know, uh, fax number. I mean, it was a fax number anymore. Get rid of it, right? Now, here's why you need to do this when you first come to your Zoho because in the, in the, in the trial, you'll be able to set up any of these fields right you can't do it in the um, in the free version right so it says please upgrade oh is that a click please upgrade to create a new field right so what's upgrade gonna cost uh, subscription free $12 a month uh, Reports and dashboard, focusing, roles and mass email, call center. So the question is which version allows you to do an addition, addition details, that doesn't seem to. So yeah, the question is which one lets you edit fields, right? So let me try and find, attach, social tab, email, opt-in, mass, Uh, Salesforce automation, lead opportunities, task events, CRM views. So it's probably, it's not obvious, is it? So I think so Zoho should tell you which version. You would think the, the standard version would let you do it. Definitely the pro version does, but the pre version doesn't. So... Sales forecasting, advanced filters, books, reminders, status attached, follow up rules, groups, social media, email templates, mass email, marketing. Web lead, web confirm. So nothing jumping out, edit. So I don't, yeah, so so it's not a great um, thing that you can tell which one. I would presume the $12 a month one will let you in and let you do it. Um, but it's not jumping out and telling you that. Um, saying try now, should I see what happens? Oh, maybe I should have just done that, right? So if I go back to, I think it's still saying free plan. I don't think it's going to let me do this. So contacts. Yeah, so it's not going to do it. Supporting the free, please upgrade to create permission. Right, so there's nothing to click on. So Zoho, if you're watching, tell us what plan to move up to. I'm guessing if you move up to the $12 a month plan, you're going to be able to do it, right? Um, so what I'll do is I'll quickly set up a new account. Um, da -da. I mean, I'll do it now if, you, if you're watching, it don't matter. Register now, no, no, no. Zoho. So it's always a thing with these, um, with these companies, it's what are you getting and where is the, where is the, 
what what are you getting for free what you're not getting for free and would be nice if they made it a little bit clearer but i guess there's a lot of things that they're trying to show you that may not be free or may be free um so let me just jump in and show you quickly at the end of this video i'm sorry it took so long but i did a video before then realized you couldn't do it on the free plan so uh if to set up your company man is happy me limited phone i'm not doing if i can get away with it and save phones mandatory oh there we go. All right, all right. They do start phoning you and asking you if you want to join up and stuff if you do put your phone number in which is fine so i'm going to go to setup i'm going to go to modules i'm going to go to contacts i'm going to look at those ones i don't want again so stuff like secondary email i'm getting rid of skype id i might put up near phone number and then maybe i want facebook Facebook URL right so I'm going to drag across and put Facebook is a URL um, it'd be cool to work out how, how Twitter is single line but it knows it knows the um, the Twitter handle so yeah again you might put oh uh, LinkedIn LinkedIn, as I used to call it. Oh man! Right, so then you, so that's how you do it. Uh, wait, what else might you put in? You might put in, you know, a currency. I don't know. Um, value. You might put in a multi-select. Um, type. So I do big alarm, so I might do CCTV, fire alarm. Oh, you might, you might put, I don't know, small business, residential, commercial, stuff like that. Test. So I think you can see you can edit anything that you want to. You can go through and play around with formulas, multi-line boxes for content, phone numbers, and you can add stuff like that. Um, you may want to edit. Da -da. You might want to go to deals and edit the stage. So you've got options, right? So you can go here and change the mapping of the stage so you might have research uh, quote provided negotiation uh, one lost draw you might not use value qualification whatever qualification you may want to just delete it you may want to change the prof profitability because if you have a thousand dollar quote then it, it when it's in the first stage it makes out the pro in the funnel there's a 20% chance of you getting it. So when you get to negotiation, it's say 90%. So it'll say that that deal's worth $900, not a thousand, or $200, not a thousand, because it works out versus that percentage. So hopefully that was, it got longer than I wanted it to, but you can see that you need to set up. So this is a professional version, right? Um, so this is so you know it works on the professional version if you want to upgrade later the question is does it work on the standard version uh i don't know because it doesn't obviously show out exactly whether it works or not but if you can do it on your professional trial and get yourself all set up um in that first 15 days then you've you you can then choose whether you want to upgrade later but at least get yourself set up to where you're happy to start with all right, so hopefully that helped. Um, give me a comment below what you think. Anything else you're struggling with, um, Zoho or anything else related, leave a comment and let me know what your, um, what your challenges are and I'll try and create videos to help you out. Uh, see you all again soon. Thanks for watching.